Now the light is off. Where is the furry fiend? One, two. So that is my new light over here there. Yes, it took them about seven years to fix this old light. The former was very decrepit. The new one is brilliant. And look who has gone on the sofa while I was out when she's not supposed to. Now, you are very naughty. You, a doctor. A doctor. A doctor. A doctor, a doctor. <laughs> I mean, how cute is this? This dingus here thinks that she can jump on the sofa when I go out. But I am actually training her to sit on there in a sensible way and not do her business. So when she's more trained, she can sit on the sofa, can't you? You big floof bomb. You're beautiful, aren't you? <laughs> This was a, a, a this is the local fleef bomb cat. I was doing lots of videos of this cat. I have found out her backstory. Now my in my old stories, this cat was a boy. The vet looked at her, I will not say, and said that she's actually a girl. There were reasons she was assumed to be a boy. Her fur was that clumped, it res resembled certain things that I will not say what they are. I've renamed the cat Doris because she's old and she reminds me of Doris Day for some reason. The name Doris is a very common name amongst very old ladies and this cat is in human years about 100. So Doris is an absolute perfect name for her. She's an absolute beauty, this cat. I'll be sad when she goes. When she dies, I plan to bury her at Coombe Abbey, which has a, an actual pet cemetery. And hopefully I can raise funding to do that because she's getting on. She is a beauty. Aren't you? Yes. I've tried to give her about three or four baths. The fur is hard to clean. She's got the most gorgeous green eyes. Moved all the toys around. You are a beauty, aren't you, cat? <laughs>